Hey, AD. Welcome. Welcome to Aspen, Colorado. I'm Lance Armstrong. Come on into the house. So Aspen, you know, in the summer times, it's really a uh, sports mecca if you, if you want to go fly fishing or mountain biking or road cycling. In the winter, it's a, it's a different outdoor paradise. And so, but it's obviously skiing, snowboarding, it's a great place to live. You know, the other interesting thing to note is that this entire part of Aspen, which is called the West End, you are not allowed to build up. So all of the homes in this area, including this one, most of the square footage is downstairs. When we walk in, it just, to us, it's our ultimate family place. Hey. This is Anna Hansen, my fiance. Um, we moved in this house 10 years ago and had two kids in this town, raised them uh, in this house, and she's trying to sneak off. She doesn't want to be a part of the show. <laughs> That's not true. I have Christmas shopping to do. So one thing that I should point out about this house is that the front door right here, which AD walked in, um, nobody uses that front door. Right, so everybody that comes to this house uses these double doors down here. So let's go check it out. Come in this room. So as we walk through, you'll see that there's a lot of art in this house. And you know, I started collecting 20 plus years ago when I built my first home. This is an artist that um, I've never been able to uh, have a piece of his. Mark Ryden is his name. He started out designing album covers. He did a Michael Jackson album cover. It's gorgeous. Here we are in the dining room. This is uh, like most American dining rooms in that you never use it. I will say, and just to, to Roy and Jill's credit from RWM Design, so the medallion on the ceiling is not part of the lighting fixture. Roy is very good about just taking something and saying, how do we make it look just a little better? Okay, next room we have the kitchen. You cannot get people out of the kitchen no matter what. You, you could have you know, thousand dollar bills sitting in the living room. People won't leave right here. It's amazing. There's something about this room. It just sucks people in and they never, they, well, you can't kick them out. We have a Kehinde Wiley. Some of you may know that Kehinde was commissioned to do uh, Obama's portrait after he left office, which was a tremendous honor for him. Are there a lot of fridges in this house? There, it feels like there's a fridge everywhere we go. So there's, well, we have, let me think about that. We have two fridges in here. We have one in the garage. And then one, well, no, there's one up in my office now, one downstairs, ice maker downstairs, the best ice maker. Our typical day in the summer is, is most evenings we sit out here with friends and family. This is, we have cushions that go around the outside. Just a great place to sit and have a glass of wine and tell stories. And most of the summer, I spent right here. If there's a scoreboard and the, mo and, and the most points could be scored is 100, I'm... 99.99999 a summer guy. So now this is just another way to get into the garage. We, we like to think we have one of the coolest garages. In all the years that I've ever had a garage, we always carpet the garage with indoor outdoor carpeting. Just in the winter when you come out here barefoot or whatever, it's, it's, not, it's not as abrasive. And the other thing too about the garage is it also changes seasonally. So right now you'll see ski boots, snowboard boots, the boards themselves, the skis, all the gear. Um, in the summer, all of this stuff is gone, and it's all summer gear. So this thing looks totally different in the summertime. It's, it's a miracle. We bought this on Amazon also. Check this out. This old school popcorn maker, you want to have a party? Adults, I don't care how old they are. You want to be the life of the party? You get you one of these. I mean, this thing is, it makes like movie theater popcorn. It's incredible. We've had upwards of 26 bikes in this garage. It, it's, it's filthy. I mean, there's bikes everywhere, but, but when you have five kids, when your woman and yourself both ride mountain bikes and road bikes, it just, it starts to add up. Oh my God, there's another fridge. This is where the beer is. Beer, Mexican Coke, sparkling water. I think we're at five or six fridges. All right, so as you start to leave, what is it? essentially the main level and go upstairs. You pass what, uh, this is another artist that uh, I've been chasing for a long time and I think a lot of people have. Uh, this is a Banksy, this is a very old Banksy. As you see, Paranoid Pictures is his production company. Um, he pulled a stunt a few months back at, at a Sotheby's auction where he shredded a piece of his own art. Uh, fortunately, we bought this piece before he did that because the guy's a fucking genius. As you finally get up to the, what is it, this is the third floor of the house. The goofy hot tub, but this is like, 
you got every house in Colorado has to have a hot tub. Your kids go skiing all day, they freeze, they come home, they, they just pile them in the hot tub. <laughs> so now we're in my office. This also doubles occasionally as one of my podcast studios. I did uh, Perry Farrell from Jane's Addiction up here. I did Ryan Bingham, the singer-songwriter. There's been a lot of cool conversation in this room. These are two Dustin Yellens who grew up in Aspen, Colorado. Dustin's become a great friend of ours and, and highly, highly collectible. If I'm up here working or if we're in here sleeping and I wanted something to drink, I don't want to walk downstairs and walk to one of the other fridges. So here recently I was like, why wouldn't we just build in a cabinet with a fridge with some water, sparkling water, all your options right here. Ed Roche has gotten to be a, a really dear friend of mine. Uh, so much so that on my 40th birthday, a card showed up from Ed, which I just think is just so typical Ed for, oh. Is that how you felt about turning 40? No, I felt, no, I felt, I felt 40 to me was the same as 25 or 26. All right, now we're up to the master. Again, this is on the top level. I will point out that we, when we bought the house, it did not have the Mitsubishi AC unit, which is interesting. I mean, 10 years ago, this home was a lot, it was a lot cooler. And it's been crazy to see over the last decade how it's just, it's gotten warmer up here in town. I mean, Aspen never saw near 90 degree temperatures 10 years ago. And I'm not trying to make a statement. Maybe I am, but anyways, this, this room now has an AC unit. We've never had a film crew in the master bath, but here we are. Uh, very basic, very simple. Do you want to see the squatty potty I just bought on Amazon? <laughs> Let me tell you something. So the other day, I was very proud, I bought um, one of the new great features of the home is the squatty potty. I read an article about this, about Brian Cranston from Breaking Bad. And he was just talking about the squatty potty. And when Walter White talks about something that great, I immediately just... Pfft. I got two of them. Okay, so as I said earlier, most of this home is below us. So in, in this part of Aspen, you're only allowed to build up two stories. And so people want more square footage. They want more family space. So they put it underground. And so here we go. Here's a, this is, I love this piece. This is a LA based artist, Jen Stark. She's, uh, I've collected her stuff for years. What happens when you look into that thing? Nothing. You just hope your kids aren't eating chips. So as you come down, uh, immediately you're hit with uh, basically two mini masters. These rooms are the best for the, the summertime nap. It's dark, it's cool. Every one of these downstairs bedrooms, whether it's these rooms or the kids' rooms, you'll see they have these, these wells, right? And so if something were to happen upstairs, a fire, whatever, the only way to get out of the basement is to, is to sneak out here. You'll see there's, there's or in some of them, there's ladders, and that's, that's the only way out. I spent a lot of time, there's another squatty potty. It was two for 50 bucks on Amazon. This is the 50 yard line of this house and this is where uh, our kids spend all their time and we spend a lot of time with them down here. You know, this is really sort of the, uh, the family room. This is the Tom Sachs piece. Most people look at this piece and they think, oh wow, that's Texas, okay, cool. But then when you tell them, like I don't know how old you guys are that are watching and listening, but when we were kids, we, you had these like hot knives where you could burn wood and carve your name into wood. So this entire piece is done with one of those knives. On top of all that, it is perfectly accurate. I was born here in Dallas, really right downtown. And then in 1989, I loaded up a U-Haul, drove down I-35 South to Austin, Texas. Arguably one of the greatest cities in the world. There's another fridge. Another little fridge. But then you get to the Scotsman ice maker. I mean, look at this ice. Look at this. I'm telling you, this is the best ice maker in the world, the Scotsman. All right, now for maybe uh, what is everybody's uh, favorite room. When I bought this house, this was like a storage closet. And I thought, How, yeah, it's not effective, it's narrow. It's, I said, what if we made it look like this? I do like to drink. Everybody knows I like to drink. <laughs> so this is where we all hang out. This is, um, this is the family room, right? The big TV. We can put a lot of people in here. I mean, the Super Bowl party here at the Armstrong House will not be a problem. Okay, so now we're going into, this is, this is Kid Mecca. So I have five kids. 
but permanently two of them live here. They were all out in the, in the family room at that TV playing Xbox, I mean YouTube, and it was just going straight up to the office. And I thought, this has to change. And so we convinced that we sold them on this, that we should take one of the bunks out and they'd have their very own TV room. And, and now they love it. This is, their, this is their media room right here. Or they, oh, cause this is gonna be on YouTube. Oh shit, we'll have to. But no, in all honesty, YouTube, we love you. Okay, so now we're in the last bedroom downstairs. This is actually everybody's favorite bedroom. Most of the time, my 17-year-old daughter, Grace, stays in here. I know that when, in the summer when I wanna go take a, a nap, this is, this is the room that I come to. I mean, it's just guaranteed. And also like the other rooms, it has an escape. Right? So if you gotta get out of here, behind those draperies is, is your ticket to freedom. I think every house in this part of the West End and Aspen is suited for the apocalypse. They all, literally, when you drive out of here, just know that every one of those homes has this dungeon, has this basement, has this space. All of them, every one of them. All right, so as I told you at the top of the show, nobody walks in the front door, like the mail person and people we don't know. So I think the best idea is that if you guys actually go out the door where friends and family go out, it's been that good a time. Thanks for coming.